Mycoplasma haemophilus is a very little guy on a big mission. He has travelled all over the world in search of his ultimate target, a rich and tasty feline erythrocyte. This obligate hemotropic parasite presents as a coccoid molecule bacteria that causes feline infectious anemia. How did he get there? Being strictly bloodborne, he is transmitted either vertically from mother to offspring or horizontally from arthropod vectors, cat fights, or from contaminated blood transfusions. This makes outdoor entire male cats like Thor more at risk, especially without regular ectoparasite prevention. Once Haemophilus enters Thor's bloodstream, it attaches to the wall of a red blood cell, where it rapidly multiplies, causing the wall to weaken. The infected red blood cell either bursts open from osmotic pressure or is destroyed by monocytes, which spot the antigens. But Haemophilus is quick to adapt and changes his antigens to confuse the immune system. The rapid destruction of red blood cells can cause mild to severe acute hemolytic anemia, usually with a significant regenerative response. This is seen clinically as a lethargy, depression, dehydration, fever, and pale mucous membranes. It can take anywhere from 2 to 32 days for these signs to appear. In severe cases, feline infectious anemia could also present with enlarged liver, spleen, and lip nodes, as well as tachycardia, tachypnea, and a weak pulse. These symptoms are intensified in immunocompromised patients. Thor has some of these symptoms, so let's confirm with diagnostics. Firstly, a blood test is performed to identify anemia with reticulocytosis. Coombs tests are positive only in the acute phase of infection due to erythrocyte antibodies which do not persist in chronic cases. Next, a blood smear should reveal blue cocci. This is not always successful because haemophilus appears and disappears from red blood cells unpredictably and could be mistaken for stain precipitate. Can you spot them? Because haemophilus hides in red blood cells, it can't be cultured. Instead, we did PCR to detect its DNA. Although costly, it is more sensitive and reliable, especially two to four weeks after infection and before antibiotics. Thor is given IV fluids and a blood transfusion to treat his dehydration and severe anemia. He is prescribed doxycycline for two to four weeks. Even after antibiotics, haemophilus can still linger in the bloodstream, resulting in chronic carriers who can spread the bacteria to others and are susceptible to flare-ups. Corticosteroids reduce immune-mediated hemolysis, but are used cautiously when concurrent infections are involved. To prevent this from happening again, Thor is now vaccinated, neutered, and an indoor cat on parasite control. See ya, mycoplasma haemophilus!